All right, so today we've got shoulders. I'm at PT by Joe. Unfortunately, PT by Joe, Joe himself, is not gonna join us today. He threw his back out. I'm gonna take it today. I'm gonna take you through a shoulder workout. But first, we're gonna give me the edge. So this is the edge stack, you guys. XL, extends the rate to perceived exertion. Thrive, focus. Focus allows you to focus on the contraction, every contraction, right? Mind on the muscle, we'll talk more about that as we're going through the workout, but very, very important, the mind-muscle link is critical. All right, so we're gonna warm up the shoulders first. One thing, one muscle, above all else, for me at least, is shoulders. Now you wanna do some sort of warm up, get the blood flow going, no matter when you work out, but it's important, the shoulders, very intricate. So below, you're gonna see the reps, the time under tension. You're gonna see it all. The tempo is all, it's all gonna be below. First exercise, we're gonna do a press. I always, I typically like to do the presses first. Sometimes I'll do them as a finisher, but more often than not, I'll start with a press, some heavy presses, right? So you see how this is? That's too far, the bar's too far forward, right? So come under it a little bit more. We want the bar to come and just hover above the chin. Again, we wanna focus here now, when you're doing this exercise, you are gonna call in the upper chest, but we wanna remove the upper chest as much as possible when we're isolating our shoulders. So right there, see the chest? Boom, up, touch the chest. So that's how we're gonna do it, right there. Now for this workout, I want you to do 40 seconds, T-U-T, -T, 12 reps. Pick something heavy enough so that you fail 12 to 13 reps. If you do a 14th rep, the weight was too light, it's time to pick up some bigger dumbbells. I'm gonna walk you through TUT so you understand eccentric, concentric, the pause at the bottom and the pause at the top, which makes, really rounds out the tempo and the tension. So we have the eccentric phase, which is the lowering of the weight, right? So you come down here, let's just say this is five seconds. Pause for one, that's six seconds. Five up. Now we're at 11 seconds, pause at the top, one. Now we're at 12 seconds for that rep. If we do it the same way, right, what is it? Seven reps gives us 70 seconds TUT. Now, that's not what we're working for here. However, I just wanted to show you exactly what I meant by tempo and TUT. So we're gonna go three down, pause one, one, two, three, up, pause one. Woo! When you really slow down, you feel the contraction. It's a completely different workout. And then at the end, if you want to burn out, oh, 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 woo. Feel those shoulders burn. Using tempo and TUT, it's almost like when you go to do something and you want to be efficient, and you want to execute, you have a strategy, you have a plan. This is that strategy and that plan for a specific goal. I get questions all the time. How many reps should I do? Well, certainly reps do matter. They give us a visualization or a goal for each set, but if you don't have the tension, you're just aimlessly doing reps with weight, it doesn't get you to your goal any faster. So be efficient, be effective, and execute the tempo and the time under tension. Time between sets can vary, right? So if you're training for strength, which means your TUT is zero to 20 seconds, more rest, time in between sets. If you're training for hypertrophy, a little less rest. If you're training, uh, training for metabolic, then it's even less rest, right? You wanna get that sweat going, really drop the time in between sets to like 30 to 45 seconds. We're gonna do about a minute rest in between each of these, maybe minute 15, then we're gonna go back at it. So we're gonna do four sets here. Again, same thing, tension. So what we know, right, if we've hit a plateau, a training plateau, it's important to understand that in order to overcome the plateau, you have to do things differently. If you've come to a plateau, you can't do the same things that got you to the plateau. In order to get over it, right, you've got to break through. And that means changing the stimulus, which will change the response. 
TUT, right? So I showed you one version of TUT. TUT can be anything. You can do something like this. So you can do five down, no pause, five down, no pause, five down, no pause, one, two, three, four, five down, right? So you can switch up the variable. That's one variable that you can switch up to create an entirely different workout, even using the same exercises, right? So think through these things as you're training. What's your goal, where you're at, what you want, and then change it up in order to change the response that you get. Last set, best set. We'll do an upright row. We're gonna go wide grip, all right? So there's a couple of different ways you can do this. All right, you can do closer grip and come up like that, or you can come out wide. And we're gonna do wide today. So I notice a little, a little too much jerky. You always wanna squeeze the weights, not lift them. So I'm gonna lighten it a little bit and focus a little bit more on tension. Oh. Oh, some lateral raises. A lot of people use dumbbells. Sometimes I use dumbbells, but I'm really liking the way the lateral raises feel with the 10 pound plates. So again, right? Where's our, where's our mind? Where's our focus? Right on that medial, right? Right, right on that lateral delt. Ooh. It's a little hard to work your time under tension for that. So usually I just go till, not usually, all the time I go till fail. So now we're gonna do my favorite Rear delt exercise. Cables, baby. There's no other rear delt exercise that I feel work the rear delts as far as I'm concerned and where mine's at better than this one. So come in the middle like this, bend over. All right, focus on those rear delts. These, you know, it's easy to just hang on the balls and do this. One additional little tweak you can to really bring out the rear delts is to put your thumbs on the line here. You'll feel it, you'll actually feel it in the rear delt. Definitely without question, the number one for rear delts. Nothing I feel a better contraction on that rear, that rear delt. One thing Joe taught me is to always work your front delts. You know, our front delts are called into action when we're doing presses, when we're doing chest presses, shoulder presses, but even more than that, you should work your front delts, all right? So we're gonna do a front delt raise. So you bring them up and in, squeeze. Oh. 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 Front delt, right, here, side delt, right, and then the rear delt. So the idea, right, we're doing these front delt races where that's more focused on your front delt. We did the laterals, right, we did the upright rows, which are our side and rear. So you're getting a nice, well-rounded workout to hit each one of the heads on the shoulder. And we're gonna do one of my favorite, favorite, favorite machines. It's a Paramount machine. Oldie, but like this machine and that machine, which I'll show you next. Woo! So we're gonna do some front delt work here. People come to the gym and their mind is everywhere but where it's supposed to be. You're leaving your results on the table. You're leaving the gains literally on the table if your mind isn't on the contraction. Ooh. <sighs> Good. Nice thing about this is it's a press, front delt, and we're gonna work the rears a little bit more. All right, we're finishing with that mamma jamma right there. It's called the eagle. All right, just because I feel like doing one more exercise, you probably could stop right here and be totally fine. I mean, 
add one more. So remember I said sometimes we do presses as a finisher. We're gonna do the Arnold, Arnold presses. I got really lightweight. How you like that one? So leave me a comment below, hit the thumbs up for sure, but leave me a comment below after you've given this one a go. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like to see on this channel. Um, PT by Joe, hopefully he'll be back next week. He'll take me through a workout, but we'd love to know what you wanna see on this channel. We can do recipes, we can do all kinds of different things. My goal is to give you one solid workout that you can actually take and use and follow along. But more than that, give you some tips along the way. Joe, thank you for letting me use your place, brother. Always, for sure. All right, so next week you're back, hopefully. Take care of yourself. Talk to you soon. See you next Tuesday. I might see you Sunday, if not this Sunday, next Sunday for sure. He wants me to come and pose.